This is Keith at Tree Matrix, and today we're going to talk about the root systems of trees and the basic characteristics. There's really two zones that I'm concerned with. One is called the root plate, the other is the critical root zone or the area of absorbing roots that bring the water and nutrients to the tree. This tree measures 31 inches of diameter. So the critical root zone for a tree of this size is going to be roughly 45, 46 feet in all directions. But the best way to think of a tree really is that it's like a wine glass sitting on a dinner plate. Dinner plate are all those absorbing roots way out there at the drip line and further, whereas the base of the wine glass are these structural roots that keep the tree upright. This is called the root plate or the zone of rapid taper, but there are several formulas used to determine the dimensions of that. I think the best one is to consider a radial distance around the tree that's six inches for every inch of trunk diameter. So the way to calculate that is you divide the diameter in half. In this case, we had 31, so let's just say 15 feet, just to be easy. And then you multiply it by a foot. So the root plate for this tree is 15 feet in all directions. You can see the root flares here coming off this tree and some that have been exposed by erosion. These roots that are keeping this tree upright, upright are quite a ways from this tree. My foot here is 15 feet from the base of that tree. You do not want to cut these roots because these are the roots that are keeping the tree upright and research has shown that, that wounding in these roots are where the root rot pathogens enter the tree and Cutting these roots also severs all of the absorbing roots that are attached to it. So bad things happen when you cut the roots inside the root plate. So for your construction purposes, stay out of the root plate to avoid some really serious problems. But as you can see, the root plate of this tree is quite extensive. 